Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and I'll go ahead and uh, create a video here to show you how to set up Doom Builder. And I would recommend using Doom Builder simply because um, it's probably one of the easier editors to learn, and it um, provides a, a lot of flexibility in terms of creating maps. And, and um, it also has some pretty cool features like the 3D 3D mode to let you actually see the map while you're uh, while you're creating it. And what you want to do is go to a uh, DoomBuilder.com. And you can um, go to Google and just type in Doom Builder, and you should be able to find it that way on there. And um, once you go to the uh, Doom Builder website, click Download, and on the download page, you should see the um, Doom Builder 1.68 full installation file on there. Um, it's five megabytes, so it's not a uh, not a not a large file or anything to download. And just click um, click that and go ahead and download it and install the program shouldn't take long to um, to do that and once you have it installed just go ahead and um, go ahead and pull up the program here and once you get that pulled up go up to tools and go to configuration once you get there go to the files tab and go ahead and you'll see where it lists the games here and you can um, you can also use Doom Doom Builder for Heretic and Hexen, and it also provides support for some of the uh, Doom source ports, which I may discuss in a later video, such as um, um, Z Doom and um, J Doom, and I may also discuss those here later. But um, go ahead and if you have Doom games already on your computer, just go ahead and um, and um, select those, and um, just look for the IWAD file right there, and the uh, it should be for Doom. It should be Doom .wad. For um, Doom 2, it should be Doom 2.wad, and just go ahead and search those up. So it should be WAD. And if you um, if you have any questions about exactly what IWADs are or anything like that, go to this website Doom.wikia.com, and on there they have a section um, specifically for IWADs that uh, discusses what they are. And they basically contain all of the game files for each of the games, all of the um. Um, graphics and levels and sounds and music and those types of things but um, just go ahead and in the configuration get those set up for your games and um, once you have that selected um, you can also go to to defaults and you can set up the default grid size and uh, the default textures that are set up for your floors and ceilings and walls and such but for now um, go ahead and leave those as they are just for the sake of uh, you know, don't 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 um, get too much into that just yet. But later on, that will probably be very useful for setting that up uh, for your new maps. And let me take a look through these real quick. For 3D mode, um, I would recommend setting it to windowed, just so that it um, can pull it up in a window and doesn't have to uh, go up to full screen every time you run it. And it allows you to get in and out quick and it's not as frustrating having to wait for your screen to go into full screen mode and exit out over and over again whenever you want to preview your map in 3D mode and I'll go over that later and um, for testing this will be um, there's a button it's right there it's grayed out right now but you can click that um, whenever you're making maps and you can actually pull up your um, pull up the game and test it um, uh, just by clicking that button and what you'll need to do is select the engine that you use and I, I use ZDoom so like for example, I would find that just double click it and it sets it up there so that um, so that basically when you click test it pulls up ZDoom and plays the map that you're making. And right there the perimeters, those are more complex, but just uh the main thing you'll need to worry about is where it says engine, just select the one that you use. So once those are set up, that should be um what you would need to do for that. And um in terms of Doom, if you don't happen to have Doom, um um, on id, idsoftware.com's website they actually have the games you can download there and you can actually get collector's edition Doom and um, that includes Ultimate Doom, Doom 2 and Final Doom and that's basically what I got and you can take the iWAD files from those also on Steam they now have um, Doom Pack Complete that actually comes with Ultimate Doom, Final Doom, Doom 2 um, and also the master levels for Doom 2 plus um, Doom 3 and its expansion but um, I actually don't even have the master levels for Doom 2, so that sounds like a pretty cool deal. Um, and then, if you if you don't want to actually purchase Doom, there's also free Doom that's offered, and 
and what that is basically is it's just a, a a free version of Doom. It runs on the Doom engine, but it has custom sound graphics and levels, so it's not, you know, it's not copyrighted or anything like that. Or and uh, you can get that for free. You just go to a freedoom.sourceforge.net or Google up free Doom, and you should be able to find that. And um, you can actually use that if you don't happen to have Doom or you just don't want to buy that. Or you can also send me an email if you want to get a hold of the uh, copies of Doom, and I may be able to hook you up on that. And just um, send me an email at chubsdoomer at gmail.com. And chubs, it should be chubs with a Z, just like on my YouTube account. So chubsdoomer at gmail.com if you want to um, learn about a, a getting a copy of Doom or just comment this video whichever way but um, that should be all you need to do once you once you get the configuration set up and get the uh, file names correct in the file tab that that's the main thing you need to worry about there and once you um, also get the testing thing right in the 3d mode those settings right just uh, I'd recommend windowed mode once you get that that's all you need to do really to set up Z um, not Z doom but